Hey guys, I'm Sarah. I'm Caitlin. And we are your best friends. Welcome to our channel. Happy Thursday. Happy Thursday. Today we are starting a mini series on how to be a Christian in blank. Today we're talking about how to be a Christian in high school. Next week we'll be talking about how to be a Christian in college. Yep. So... Please subscribe to this channel. Join our friend group. I literally wanted to get right into it because it's going to be really good. But I have to remind y'all and invite you to subscribe to our channel. We love having you here. Follow us on Instagram. We have a community here of people who are like growing and learning. All of us together and walking through life. So we want you to subscribe. Now we can kind of get into the intro. Like mm -hmm. kind of. Yeah. And um, we want to do this video, like how to be a Christian in high school, how to be a Christian in college, like this mini series, because in reality, this world that we're living in, it's 2022 right now. Maybe you're going to be watching a whole other year, but things have gone so crazy, right? And there's so many uh, voices coming from different directions, different agendas, different subliminal messaging. We want to, for those who are curious and also seeking to be strong in their faith in the Lord, we want to address literally how to do this because I know not all of us have parents who are discipling us how to do this. Not all of us have the best leaders or whatever and you're seeking advice. You know, maybe some of you guys are great and you're just wanting to salt, like solidify some things, but some of you guys literally need some practical experiences and things to hold on to, to be strong in your faith in high school. And it's going to be a really good one. Exactly. So that's why this is so important. Yeah. A great series for you to watch. And if you're not in high school or in college, you can still watch both of them. You're going to get a lot out of it. So trust true. me. Yes. We're going to basically start off by sharing our experiences in high school, what we were like, no judge. And, and then how it was for us being believers. Yep. All that stuff. Yes. And then afterwards, we're going to give you some like encouragement that we felt would really benefit you in this season of your life. My experience being a Christian in high school was way different than Sarah's experience, but that's good because there's going to be some people that are going to relate to me and some people that are going to relate to Sarah. Yeah. So if you pick up on parts of my story, great. I have great personal advice from you for my experience. In high school, for me, what it was like being a Christian, I really wasn't a Christian, but I felt like I was. So sometimes I would go to like a youth group every now and then and like on Easter and stuff my family would go to church and I'd hang out with Sarah like we would go to church and I grew up like going to a Christian school so I was kind of just one of those kids that I felt like I was a Christian like I felt like I believed in God and I had conservative values Christian values but as time went on in high school my life just more and more just didn't line up with what God wanted for me. And it wasn't like an intentional thing. It was just I started to become more obsessed with boys. I started to just want to be cool, be popular, started cursing a lot, started wanting to be invited to parties, things like that. Like I just, it's not like I was trying to be like evil or rebellious or anything like that. It's just I actually never had a true relationship with God. I just kind of grew up knowing of God, but not actually knowing him. For me, I was kind of like a Christian by name. And that's why I share it for this video. Because if that is you, you probably clicked on this video because it's like, oh, like I'm a Christian. Like, let me hear some things about this. But if you're finding it hard for your life, like it's not lining up or like, there's a compartmentalization between your faith and then like who you are with your friends and stuff. Like I feel you for me, if I was going to go back and talk to myself during that time, I would have just asked myself if I really knew who Jesus was personally, not just knew of him. And if like what Jesus had done for me had actually connected with my heart instead of just my head. Once that connection was made, which that wasn't made until college, it was a lot easier, not easy, but it was easier to walk like a Christian and follow God because I had a very deep heart conviction. So that's kind of my experience. 
It was just so easy to get distracted when I didn't have a firm foundation of a true living relationship with God because I didn't know him yet. So how are you gonna trust your life and your decisions to someone that you don't actually know? In my college video, I'll share a little bit about my testimony and stuff, and I'm gonna give you some tips at the end if you're like me, but that's honestly kind of how I was, so yeah. So for you, you would definitely, if anybody ever asked you, are you a Christian, you'd say yeah. Right? I, yeah, I, de I would have said, yeah, yeah, I believe in God. But then were there times in high school where if you were to look, it was like, but you were living like regular, like, yeah, like, yeah. kind of like that. There are some people who definitely are Christian, but their life is it's like a compartment of your yeah. life to who you are over here in school though. And so that's like a highly relatable and real like journey. Exactly, exactly. And now for me, my experience. So for me, I've said this in a lot of our other videos, just like Caitlin has shared this as well. We definitely recommend you watch more of our videos um, to kind of get to know us a little bit better and why we love God so much. Um, and so for me, since I was a young girl, I had a personal relationship with Jesus. I love God so much. And so of course you better believe like, am I perfect? No, because nobody is. And by the way, we are not saved by our works. We're saved by grace. There is nobody whose great works can get them into heaven because it's not based on works. It's based on faith, faith in him. And so that is the gift that God has given all of us. So that's the beautiful thing. In high school for me, I was super popular, super cool, super like I'm just such a cool person. And yet also I had the, I have the gift of sharing that I still was really well known for loving God and exuding the life of somebody who walks with the Lord. What I mean by exude is I didn't, I don't do these works. I didn't do these works like looking like a Christian to look like a Christian. It's just like when it's in your heart, like when it goes from your head to your heart, you, it exudes. It's something that starts from the inside and comes out. And so it was, it's all of my life. Like my whole life is like, I love God. And so that translates into my actions, into how I walk and talk. And so that was really me in high school, kind of like that leader in my high school. For some of you guys, you have like big convictions. Like you just already love the Lord and you want to pursue him and you want to do good through him and for him. And you're going to relate to me in that aspect. Like you just feel like a leader. I also want you, if you're listening, you're nothing like me. Don't let testimonies like this discourage you. Let it inspire you. Because these kinds of testimonies, even Caitlin's like, they can lead you to discouragement or you could choose to be inspired by it. And the godly decision is to always be inspired by these stories and let it um, ignite you even more. And I hope that's what my story does as well. Yeah, in high school, it's like, uh, I still had insecurities. Yeah, because I'm a human. I still had uncertainties. I still had really down days. All the things that every single human being does experience. And I feel like that's important to say because um, when I share a little aspect of like, oh yeah, cool and I love God and I just was like a great Christian in high school. You're still just a student. Like you're still just a human figuring it out because of like my personality and because I'm like this really leader kind of personality. Something can happen too though where you're trying to be perfect and it's not uh, to impress other people, at least not me, but I'm trying to be perfect for my father God. I just want to remind any of you guys who kind of relate to my story though, that we all, even like 80 year olds, 90 year olds, what do we see Jesus always reward? Like faith, especially childlike faith. So I just want to remind you too, like it's not about in high school, like having it all together and being perfect because you're kidding yourself. All of us are just children of the most high. And so like in high school, sometimes I'm like always wanting to be perfect for God and like make sure I'm like doing the right thing all the time, which is beautiful. But definitely there were some habits that I toned down a bit with the help of Jesus later on. Um, because I was just always trying to be perfect, perfect. But there are some things about like, you're still though enough as a daughter or son of God as you are. And it's not ha about having to always like be the best. I think that's like a big part of my story as well. But that was really my experience in high school was didn't really care what anybody thought in those regards. Because when you know Jesus, <laughs> when you've tasted and seen how life with him is so much more fulfilling, then you have no shame, no shame in just living that kind of lifestyle because every other lifestyle you've tasted or smelled and it just like, it seems so much more empty in comparison to what a real life with Jesus Christ is like. Not a religious life, 
life with Jesus Christ. Exactly. Yeah. And it's like what you said. When you've tasted and seen it, it has to be like a deep exactly. personal thing. It can't just be like these are things that Christians do, so I'm going to try to be a good Christian and do that. Mm-hmm. It's all about having that connection with God yeah. in your heart. So yeah. with that, I think that's a good segue for us to share our quick tips yeah. and encouragements for being a Christian in college based off our experiences, mm-hmm. based off what God's spoken to us. Etc. Etc. So get ready for some quick tips um, that you can walk away from this video knowing. My big tip for you is just to ask yourself, like before thinking about like any actions or anything like that, or what steps you can take. Those things are good, but first ask yourself: Do I have a picture of who God wants me to be? Okay, that's question number one. I'm gonna pause for a second and I want you to think about it, write it down. That's the first question. Do I have a picture of who God wants me to be? Because you can't actually have that picture if you don't personally know God. And it might take time, like you might already be a believer, but you're still a little confused. I know for me, Definitely. I was like, well, all these Christians keep saying this thing about having identity and Jesus, like, I don't know what that means. That seems like fluff. Like it took me a few months of praying and asking God to help me to figure it out. So first, Ask God to give you a picture of who he wants you to be. And the second thing is to ask, I guess, just to separate that from the picture of yourself and who you want yourself to be. Because I know for me, in high school, I had a lot of big ideas about who I wanted Kaylin to be. Popular, cool, pretty, funny, like all these things aren't really necessarily bad like Sarah said she was a believer she was popular like she was well known but I was so only thinking about who I wanted to be from my perspective and my plans that of course like it's gonna be hard for me to be a Christian in high school because I don't even have a perspective of the woman that I'm being made to be and once you know that once you know even just a glimpse because you're not going to figure it all out at once no this is the journey but once you start to get glimpses of who god wants you to be you're going to be a lot more confident a lot more secure it won't really matter as much how popular you are how much boys like you or girls like you if you're a guy watching this video or all the little things in high school that we tend to care about those things will start to become less important because you will start to become more confident and secure when you know the direction you're heading Mm -hmm. and you know that direction is a godly direction. So just like journal, pray, be patient and seek answers on that. Who does God want me to be? Who does me like want me to be? And And even why? Dig into why do I want me to be that way? Because you might discover Mm -hmm. things as you ask why. Exactly, so who does me want me to be and like how is that different from Mm -hmm. what God wants me to be? God has different priorities for you, but they're better priorities and they're better goals. So that's my big tip for you. Cool. And then I will say two big things that I think to add on to Caitlin will really help you with how to be a Christian in high school, which my question to you is like, do you know who God really is? Because a lot of us know who God is, or we think we do, depending on who our parent, what our parents are like. Or even what our parents have told us he's like. Or maybe you think who God is is what you've heard Christianity is. And so all you think about what God is is with what Christianity is painted. And I'm sure it's distorted in many realms. Or maybe you think God is the way that this bad or hip or hypocritical Christian was like. Or maybe you already have discovered that God is so good. He's so for you and not against you. Maybe you've already discovered that because he loves you and me and Kaylin so much. He sent his son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross that we could have eternal life and also begin it right now, the abundant life. I don't know what you know about God, but you can't, or you can, but like it will be so much easier to be a Christian in high school if you have a revelation of who God really is. And how you get there is through praying and asking God to do that for you because only God can do that in your life and it can be as simple as just praying and ask God, can you give me a revelation of who you are? Exactly, which leads me to, I wrote this down. If you wanna be a Christian in high school, more than anything, you wanna start seeking him and talking to him because I know in your guys' culture, you're used to everything getting fed to you. And God is actually so good in that he doesn't spoon feed us everything because then you really can't handle his goodness if it just comes into your lap. And so there's two Bible verses that, um, come to mind for this and one is jeremiah 20 13 god says you will seek me and find me when you seek me with all of your heart 
And that, you can read the whole context of that, but Jesus Christ compliments this when in Matthew 7, 7, he says, ask, it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be open to you. And so in high school, I think it would be not nice of us to let you know that you play a part in this because God, there are stories where of course, like his hand has been in your life when you look back and he's been doing things without you wanting it. But still, like, seek God. It's not all on Him to make it real to you. You can, in your bedroom, start praying and asking and seeking, and He will reveal Himself to you. I think that's the biggest thing in high school is, like, seek the Lord and you will find Him. Um, and the number one place you're going to want to go to is the Word of God, the Bible. Um, and then, of course, other supplementary resources. We here love to point you to Jesus Christ. We have so many resources to point you to the way, the truth, and the life as well. And so we wouldn't mind being one of those supplementary things to help you walk on your journey with Jesus Christ. Yep. That was a big part of my personal testimony was I asked God to show me who he was because I felt frustrated because everyone else around me was talking about God like he was this friend of theirs. And I didn't know if it was a bunch of like baloney yeah. or if like people actually knew God. And God answered me through that. So take your confusion, frustration, questions Definitely. about God to him in prayer. Even if you get frustrated reading the Bible or you get confused when you go to church, like seeking God has to do with what's going on in your heart and yes. God is going to answer you. So whatever way you can do that, do that. Yes. And God's going to reveal himself to you. That's right. We love you guys so much. I'm sure we'll have you on our next part of the series, no matter where you're at in life as well. So please subscribe to our channel and we will see you in the next video. Bye.